Like a lot of people, I've been trying to step up my gardening game this year. I've done alright in the past, but not, not too impressive, so uh, I decided to make a lot more planters this year, do a raised bed or two, and uh, right now I'm working on planting some tomato plants upside down using this thing that I made. I got two of these. The other one is already finished. I used some bargain bin lumber from this from Home Depot. This is the 70% off uh, coal lumber because it's so warped or twisted and I figured to cut it into small enough pieces it's not really warped or twisted anymore. So I cut a bunch of small pieces and made this octagon planter. Probably easier to do it with a square planter if you have some straighter boards. Uh, it just makes it easier to fasten the sides and attach everything, but I felt like trying an octagon, so that's what I got. And then uh, as you can see in the bottom of the planter, there's a lip and everything is epoxy coated. The outside only had one, one thin coat, thin the epoxy with uh, probably about 40% with alcohol because I just wanted to soak it in and reinforce the cedar. Did the same thing on the inside and then I followed up with a, a heavy coat, just or just a regular on thin coat to get the inside completely sealed. And this is all cedar, so I'm not terribly concerned about it rotting anyway. I mean, ground contact is really what gets cedar, not so much moisture, but uh, everything should be pretty well protected on the inside. And then the, uh, the last part of this is this little Millennium Falcon I made here for the bottom. Of course, this could be a square, it's a lot simpler if you make a square planter. I just glued a piece of wood, uh, I think it's 5 eighths in the middle, you know, something uh, that is going to be small and big enough to fit around but not uh, so small that it chokes the tomato plant and that'll just slide right on here then I flip the whole thing over and set it down inside there. And I did one of these successfully, barely successfully, so I'm going to try it again and hopefully I can get it right the second time. I learned that, that a trash can is a very helpful thing to have handy, something that's smaller than the plant and smaller than the planter. Uh, or something that's bigger than the plant and smaller than the planter is what I meant. So, I also cut a piece of landscape fabric because I don't want all the dirt coming out of the bottom. Uh, this is uh, just, I just cut it about the shape, you know, bigger than the bottom piece. And then I did a slice into the middle and put a little cross in there. And then I just taped an extra piece on there to fold over. So, wherever that lies, it's not going to, uh, the, the dirt isn't going to go straight through that part. I will put this on there first around the plant and that's all there is to that and then I slide this guy on there just like that and now the tricky part is flipping the whole thing over and then getting it inside here hopefully I can do this without dropping anything it was pretty close last time I tried to set this over top and then flip it over but that really didn't work. I should have seen that coming. So, hold that on there and flip. And I'm going to leave the pot on here for now just because it'll help keep the dirt from, from falling apart as I'm putting this in here. And I think actually I am going to pick this back up like that because I want to get my arm through here and put it on kind of like a sleeve. Oop, tomato plant in there. Get my arm through the bottom. And once I feel it start to slot, slide in. There we go. That's all there is to it, other than putting the dirt back in there. So I'm going to go hang this up. And you can see the plants hanging out of the bottom. Everything's secured in there. And I'll pull down the, pull down the camera so we can see a little bit better what we got here. All right, I got the landscape fabric here, and I'll, I'll start to backfill around this, or start to fill around this with uh, with some potting soil. Once I get the landscape fabric pressed up against the side, at that point I'll pull this pot out, and uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that all the dirt isn't running down the edge. So I'll get the landscape fabric against the side, push everything down, then I can pull out the pot, and then I can fill this thing up probably about the that line there and then I'll just mulch the rest of it with some shredded bamboo or something just to hold the moisture in there and keep the weeds from going out of the top. There's the finished product. I have pressure treated 4x4s on the base and then for the border I used some white oak that came down uh, in the yard about a year ago and then I have chestnut oak for that little uh, post holder right there. Uh, it's got a, um, a tenon going into the bamboo 
and then cedar for the tomato planters. I think it turned out pretty awesome, and I'm hoping that those plants agree.